hello welcome back learn how to create a table in InDesign Adobe InDesign so creating a table in Adobe Design is not as simple as you think so, You cannot just right click here or then do table insert no it won't work first what you have to do is that you have to first draw click the type tool T and then make a text box like this and now you can go and insert a table here you have to supply you have to fit the number of rows number of columns the number of header rows and footer rows or whatever you feel creating so you can supply that one and it will create automatically so now this is a basic table you can have your own table new style like this new style and then you can provide all the table setup this thing information and save as a new table as in your favorite and then later on you can use this table in your future projects so table is a great way now suppose let's create a new table okay so four column one two three four one two three four four columns and four rows let's undo it and let's do one second serial number description among what i need now if i want to delete this one then you can go here delete column so there are only one two three four now this is serial number description amount once you have this one then you can do all the editing now once I've selected this one so you eat <coughs> all the editing menu is highlighted now left align center align right align and align towards spine and then you can have the font size and then you can have the alignment center of the row alignment now you can rotate the takes into 90 degree 180 degree and 270 degree and now this is for merging and this is for unmerge suppose number of rows or number of columns can be increased or decreased later on here also now let's suppose say here it is number of column is three let's increase one more so it is increased let's decrease one more it will ask you when you delete it will ask you if you want to go ahead so i want to go ahead press ok now it's gone and this is the background color fill color so suppose if you want to fill the magenta just click this one it will fill and then you can also set the opacity if you want to make it a bit of that color and it will like this magenta so you can you can maintain the opacity also now let's set is none and if this is for the stroke stroke means the line the outer edge of the line so this is black you can even press this one you can also select a red one and then size can also be select as a 1 mm then it will show as a 1 mm that's bordering size okay these are the thing and then if you want to merge you can merge or unmerge as suppose if you want to merge these two column then you can merge with like this no well, it is merge now if you want to unmerge it select it and then what is it or is it okay unmerge it now it has come to the original shape if you have any more question please put in the comment below comment section i will try to give a solution to that question in my next video thank you and please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you very much